Muy buenas tardes. Un saludo al misionero Miguel Hermúdez Marín, allá reunido en Puente de Itla. Allá... Good afternoon. Greetings to the missionary Miguel Bermúdez Marín, gathered there in Puente de Ixla, there in the congregation that the Reverend Cuauhtémoc Alvarez pastors, today, Thursday, January 18th of this year, 2024. And the other ministers gathered there, brothers and sisters. It is truly a privilege and a blessing to greet each one of you and to ask the Lord for His blessings upon all of you at this end time. The blessings contained in that rapturing faith, which, and of which, God is making known to us at this end time, which is the mystery of the seventh seal, the mystery of the second coming of the Lord, which that mystery is being opened in a great tent cathedral, as it was prophesied, as it was announced by the Reverend William Branham and our beloved brother William Soto Santiago. You may please be seated for a few minutes. Notice that what God is carrying out in the fulfillment of the tent vision is none other than what was promised. Because a tent will not be made and then God not fulfill what He promised, which would be God giving the church the rapturing faith, giving her the thunders, because that is what the forerunner of the second coming of the Lord, the Reverend William Myron Branham, told us, and what our beloved brother and friend, that powerful Archangel Gabriel, our brother William Soto Santiago, who told us that in the tent we would speak about all those things, and that that mystery of the seventh seal would be open in the tent, and that in the tent the thunders would be sounding, uttering, and that it is the thunders being made known. And what does the church need to be seen with the fulfillment of that promise, of that prophecy? Well, the work being carried out in the fulfillment of what they spoke, and that is what God is doing. And notice in this message, a shout, voice of the archangel, a trump of God. He tells us here on a part. He says, Now, we have seen how he would take the bride at this end time. And those are the ones who will be recognized as the bride of Christ of the last day. Because they are the ones who will receive the faith to be transformed and raptured at this end time. In other words, the ones who would be receiving the fulfillment of that prophecy, the fulfillment of that vision, before the physical miracles and wonders. For God would be given them, those who will be transformed in rapture, the rapturing faith. Because the rapturing faith and the transformation of rapture, that is for the bride, for the elect. A person who will not be raptured or transformed, well will not receive and will not hear what God is doing under the tent. As simple as that. And what they will do instead is attack and oppose that program because to them it is in that way. But who are they to say that it is in that way? But for God's elect, when they see the fulfillment of that promise, since they have prophetic insight, they identify that promise being fulfilled, and they hold on on to that word and receive it, because they are the children of God, the elect of God, predestinated of God, genes of God, who at this end time would be crying out for that rapturing faith. And then when God fulfills it, they say, this is what I was waiting for. And those people keep holding on to that promise and the fulfillment of those prophecies. And day by day, they grow more in the knowledge of that mystery of the seventh seal, the mystery of the second coming of the Lord. Therefore, notice, he goes on to say, And what is what gives the rapturing faith? Book of the Seals, page 148, the Reverend William Branham says, 
seven thunders of revelation may show the bride how to prepare for that great translation faith. Now we can see that all of this is a mystery of Christ. Notice on page 123 in the book of the seals also says, And then there is coming forth seven mysterious thunders that's not even yet written at all. That's right. And I believe that through those seven thunders will be rebuilt in the last days in order to get the bride together for the rapturing faith. Because what we got right now, we wouldn't be able to do it. There is something we've got to step further. And Brother William says, we got to step further, see? And it is the thunders. The voice of Christ are the thunders. The voice of Christ crying as when a lion roars and seven thunders uttering their voices. And now, notice how the cry of Christ as the lion of the tribe of Judah comes, crying and seven thunders uttering their voices. And with that revelation that Christ gave us as lion, crying with his voice and seven thunders uttering their voices, crying as when a lion roars, notice, with that revelation is that he calls and gathers the elect of the last day in the age of the cornerstone. And he prepares us to be transformed and raptured because he reveals to us the mystery of the seventh seal. In other words, the revealing of the mysteries, the mystery of the seventh seal, it is given in those thunders. When the thunders are heard, there the mystery of the seventh seal is revealed, which in repeated occasions he told us that that mystery would be opened in the tent, and that for now we'll leave that alone. We can't talk about this now, notice, because that will come later on because it is at the moment in which the church bride needs to know, to be aware of that mystery of the seventh seal, which is the mystery of the second coming of the Lord to receive the rapturing faith and for God to fulfill the promise of resurrection and transformation for us to leave this planet Earth before the divine judgments fall upon the human race. So, we are at the end time in the time in which God is fulfilling everything that was foreshadowed and everything that was brought in that message of good tidings to the church of the Lord. So, continue on at this end time, aware that we are in the right time, where God is fulfilling everything that was foreshadowed by the Reverend William Marion Branham and everything that was announced by our dear brother and friend, Dr. William Soto Santiago. And today, some very important things were spoken in some words that were sent this morning. The seventh seal and the resurrection. I don't know if you have time to hear them. And God is opening our understanding each time more and more. And that mystery is being opened more and more clearer each time. Because the greatest miracle is giving the rapturing faith to the elect of God. That is the greatest miracle. Later will come the vindication of all of this that has been happening in the midst of the church. So, continue forward, serving the Lord every day of your life and persevering to soon obtain the promises pertaining to the fulfillment of the seventh seal and its work the fulfillment of the seventh seal and his works. May God bless you and keep you. And thank you very much, Missionary Miguel Bermudez Marin, for allowing me to send these words of greeting to all of you there, and also in all places where they are gathered as well. Because they told me that in several places of Latin America, North America, and Africa as well, they would be gathered. So, to all those gathered on this occasion and tomorrow, I send these words of greetings ustedes. to all of you. Que Dios les May God bless you and keep you a todos. all.